Whoa. This is what we have here, huh? This is something. Something about ice factories. They're, you know, industrial places that are overgrown with frost seems very... It just is a striking image in my... It's a striking image to me. Oh man, this is like the underground levels in Super Mario Brothers. Except we're, here we can glide around using that hat. What other wonders are we going to find here? Also, this place is really cold. Shantae should really have considered bringing a parka or something. She's going to get frostbite. Thus the name of the island, I'm sure. I'm glad that these little crabs are not any tougher here than they are elsewhere. Although this is a different species, of course, but it is presumably, you know, very good with cold. Also, whatever ability we get here is going to let us jump really high. Oh no, not these little munchy guys. Well, that's the end of the story, ladies and gentlemen. That would be a very unsatisfying ending to the story. What was the ice dungeon in the original Shantae like? I don't quite remember anymore. Uh, I remember, I think there might have been a cannon puzzle in it. Like there kind of is in the, like we had in the sky here in a propeller town. I don't quite remember. And they weren't cannons actually, I think they might have been portals or something. Man, I should... I don't remember very clearly. I remember that the boss was very easy. Which was particularly odd given that the bosses up to that point, I thought, had been pretty uh, difficult. Pretty challenging, I suppose I should say. Alright. There's one door we can go through and it's this one. So, let's see what we're gonna find here. Robots are what we were gonna find here. Sure. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, come, okay, um. Well, we took out the robots that are going to damage multiple platforms, at least. And when they die, they explode into, into shooter game projectiles, huh? Fair enough. Not really, that's not fair. But, you know, it's fine. I'm, I can deal with that. If this place is abandoned, why are these factories still working? Well, I guess the Techno Baron, uh, Makes things tough on occasion. Oh, we have to hit them twice in a row. And they explode to hurt us. These are some dangerous robots. Not gonna lie. I'd be lying if I said they weren't. This one isn't, though. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. All kinds of booming going on. Oh. Timed it perfectly. Oh. What's that? Ugh. It looks like fish eggs. Except that it's not. What is that, though? Are we gonna turn, is it gonna turn out, are we actually gonna find out where all these weird fleshy monsters come from and it's gonna turn out that they were all made in this factory or something like that? Get out of there, Shante! Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I should have bought more potions. I mean, we have three of those insta-revive potions if, if it really comes to it. But I don't know. I just wasted a heart. Here, that's a pretty precious resource, too. Well, we haven't quite found the uh, map yet, but I'm sure we're gonna find it so sooner or later. Yeah, this is pretty intense. Reminds me of those uh, factory levels in Donkey Kong Country. Okay, this time. You see, the problem with these things is the way they move, you can't predict for sure what's gonna end up hitting something and what's not. I mean, I guess they... Do they give you enough time to react? I'm honestly not sure. Maybe they do. Maybe they do give you time to react. Who can say with some of these things, though, you know? Say. Oh, there we see. We did it that time. We did. We, we well, we did it. 
That's a pretty impressive piece of technology that I can't even see the application for because it does nothing but make things less practical. There's no practical application that that piece of technology could have. That was fun. Oh, they activate when we're above them. That one didn't. All right. Who's next? Conveyor belts. It's good exercise. Oh! Really? Really? Okay. Oh. Okay, we gotta not let the ice block block our path through here, or we're gonna get all kinds of kinds of cut. Okay. Instead of being cut, we were you know like completely squished. That's pretty pretty gr grisly, I'm not gonna lie. And that time, we're the ones who hurt the ice block instead of vice versa. Okay! Just keep going, we're gonna be able to charge again. There we go! See, I wasn't ready for this. Hold on. What was that piece of loot? What is it? It's a key? I'm glad I got it because I mean it's a uh, you could say it's a key item What they've made worse puns in the Shantae games And this is what's gonna let us jump and by jump. I mean we're gonna shoot ourselves out of it Oh Or instead we're gonna do this. Oh, we can do it indefinitely This is gonna make some things so much easier to get to oh my god Gosh. Okay, we're gonna go up there, of course, but we're gonna go over here first. Can we really just do this indefinitely? No, we can only do it three times. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I still think we can use it to get to the thing that was up here, though. Ah! I just need to get up there before the ice blocks get up there. You know, forget it. It's not worth it. Into the darkness. Alright. How are we gonna get up over there, you think? I don't know. What's in here? money but we have to die to get the money it's making a powerful indictment uh, it's a criticism of consumerism it's oh what a clever little thing they did by putting this right here we're gonna get zapped by the robot though on the way up aren't we oh, yeah. Shantae understands the score is there some way oh never mind there was a Spot there wasn't really covered in spikes. I wonder how these spikes even got into this factory. Like, why would, like, who put them there? Surely they weren't here. I, I mean, what purpose would this chamber have served back when the factory wasn't abandoned? It just one of those times, you know, that there's just, it just doesn't make sense, but it's game design. Ah, oh, well, it didn't knock us into the spikes. Oh, that's good. What we got here? All I can say is it would have been really frustrating to go up there if you hadn't gotten that key. That's all I can say. Also, now we can actually get out of the dungeon. So that's good, right? Right. Also, we can go over here and see what's up in the sky now. My bet is on nothing. Nothing. I just was wondering what it was. Now I know. Okay. What are we gonna do? Oh, all the pots reset. That's nice. Okay, where, where, where can we go to next? Probably gonna go up this, uh, that sort of chute that's on the map there. Or probably we're gonna go up that. Between this cannon and this, you know, Risky's hat, all I can say is I don't think we're gonna need to worry terribly much about, uh, these platforming challenges. I think I can handle them. Another thing to note about this game that I haven't really thought about till just now. 
is that every dungeon has its own theme. Like, its own theme music, I mean. You couldn't have said the same about the uh, previous uh, uh, two Shantae games. How are we gonna get down there? There we go. We're gonna pogo stick. We're gonna pogo, our pogo stick on our scimitar right down, or on our rapier, or whatever it is, right down onto a baby heart squid's head. I got a key, too. Now those baby heart squids look a little too much like the Squid Baron's kids for me to be totally comfortable with it. Or his babies, as he calls them. It's ironic, the male octopus is not the one that uh, takes care of the babies. That's the female, and she just takes care of the eggs, not the babies. Okay. So there's something this way, is there? Yeah, just through here. Let's go. Oh, good. I was wondering why I had two keys for a moment there, and now I know. Oh, I see. That was clever. That's clever, doing that there. It's like a treadmill. Okay. I'm beginning to lose my patience with this cleverness. Wait. That heart squid is very gross looking. How do we get to it? Oh, this way. It looks like one of its eyes are different. Why can't we go any further? Oh, we have to charge into the wall, don't we? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. All right, let's try that again and not screw up. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, that heart squid's eyes were kind of gross and horrifying looking from, from my external view. How are we going to get... Oh, we're just going to jump out? Okay. I'm fine with that, sure. Oh, we're not going to... Okay, that for some reason, that didn't work. Here we go. Okay, let's try that again. Let's take it from the top, folks. Gah. I stopped holding down forward. That is what did me in. For some reason, even touching the bottom of it for one second was enough to kill her. That's weird. Should... Okay, that that was my bad that time. You know, I'm beginning to really hate ice cubes. Hey, did you know that ice is a mineral? Glacial ice, that is. The kind of ice you have in your freezer isn't. This is because one of the definitions, uh, part of the definition of a mineral, is that it's naturally occurring. So, glacial ice is a mineral. However... What? However, ice in an ice tray is not a mineral. The other definitions of a mineral, the other parts of the definition of a mineral that ice satisfies are that ice. Can we like do this while we're charging forward? I don't know. I don't know if we can or not. Let's find out. No, no, we just have to make the jump in one go, I guess. Okay, fine. Be that way. Let's go, let's go, we're gonna make this. It's impossible. You can't clear that jump and just just like that. There's no way. What what what, what do I need to do then? Do I need to like reverse the direction of the conveyor belt or something? I don't know. There we go! It actually worked that time. I'm glad. Minerals! We will do this in the name of the five properties of minerals. That they are nat- I think they're- Are there five? In case the properties are, they are naturally occurring. It's one of the properties. Oh, what are they? Is there? Naturally occurring. Crystalline structure. Definite composition. 
Not organic. And some other one. <laughs> I like how Steel Maggot would quite possibly be a kind of horrifying name, but the fact that they put patent pending on it makes it silly instead. How am I... What, what am I missing here? What does the steel maggot got? Okay, so that's not gonna work. Obviously, we need to get on top of it. Like, obviously, when you hit some of these buttons, it does stuff. But it's for what exactly? Oh, there we go! So you have to hit one of the... Okay, we have to hit the buttons in order, I guess. And I guess those other times I just didn't hit the buttons. There we go. There we go! No, no, no! There we go, there we go! Hit, 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 Okay. Um. There we go, middle button. It's middle front button. No, it's, it's middle back button. That's fine. It's fine, we all make mistakes. We have to hit them in order. There we go. Middle button, then the back button. The back button. Now we just need to hit the front button. Then we can do all sorts of damage to, to this thing. This, to this horrible thing. Hit, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, can't, you can't fault me for hitting it. Because it's trying to kill me. So front button. All right. You know, you'd think that it would, uh, be triggering that self-defense mechanism if you hit the correct button, though, wouldn't you? I mean, it's just to dissuade people for even trying to hit those buttons and reveal this weak point on its back. Really, though, why would you even include that? Maybe the Techno Baron really is as bad at designing robots as I initially suspected. I can't think of any practical function that could serve. So back one first. Back one. Uh, front one. No, middle one. Middle one. Now we just need to hit the front button. There we go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. That metal maggot was nothing. It does look like the kind of thing the ammo baron would use, though. I suppose the ammonians always had the support of the techno baron. But wait, did the techno baron have something to do with the pirate lord? I mean, he even laughed yar har har. Hey! Lonely Grave? Oh yeah. It's a weird name for an island. That should be the last den of evil. But then why is there another ocean map? Murr! I guess I shouldn't waste time thinking about it. Let's go. Oh! Yeah, things are getting near the finale now. Is there going to be some kind of twist at the end, you think? Because I don't know, honestly. Anything could happen. Also, now that we have the cannon and Risky's hat, I bet you that what we can do is get across that pit on the other side of Scuttlebutt. How much you want to bet? I'll bet you no money, because I'll know you. I'm not going to make a bet with somebody I don't know. You made it back in one piece. And with the cannon. Just as I suspected. Yeah, we make a pretty good team. Maybe... Maybe what? I don't know. I thought maybe you'd change your mind and join the good guys for a change. Me join you? Ha! You'd better focus on the task at hand. These five islands were the source of the Pirate Master's evil power. With his creatures and servants neutralized, we've got him on the ropes. It's time to deal the final blow. The genie sealed his bones in a tomb. The location is known to no one. If we could somehow find it. I did find this map. Let me see that. Incredible! This is really it. The secret location of the Pirate Master's grave. Come on, we're going to have a look. That's the scary place from the opening cutscene. 
let's stop by Scuttletown first. We need to get some more health items. Or, I'm sorry, Ammo Town. It'll always be Scuttle Town to me. I had heard a happy squeaking coming from the leaves high above the forest. It must be an animated character preparing for its 50th anniversary jubilee. Probably installing a zip line to the royal palace. What the heck? Oh, I know, it's gonna be. It's a. That guy with that, you know, that one guy, the legendary hero guy. Nice boots. Have you tried? Yeah. I, wait a minute. I actually forgot about that. Huh. Anyway. No one here. Oh, it looks like all their dialogue. We're through with the dialogue then. Yeah. Okay. What? We blew a huge hole in Frostbite Island. Yeah, that's right. Well, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go do a few things here, okay? First thing we're gonna do. We don't really have much money, but but so but we're gonna go take a bath, which is fortunately free. We're gonna get a new uh a new heart forged for us, a new heart container by the uh, somewhat plump BDSM lady who lives here. What's that icon? Suppose that little sign on our door is a stylized depiction of a, a heart squid. Hello, BDSM lady. I suppose I should just call her the Squidsmith. It'd be a lot more E10 plus rated. In any case... Thank you. I wonder what happens if we get all of them. Will she suddenly go through a character arc? That'd be a little kind of funny. Oh! I keep cutting off her little screaming like that. I feel like a bad sport every time I do that. In any case, I think we can get to that warp squid that's in the tree now. I keep calling them warp squids even though they're heart squids. I'm sure they're related to warp squids, don't get me wrong. Not that I have anything against heart squids. They're both fine. They both have their place in the world. All I can say is that's for sure. Oh, I got more pirate flares, huh? Good. Well, here we are in the forest, in Tangle Forest. Tangle Woods, or is it Tangle Woods or Tangle Forest? I think, I'm pretty sure that it is Tangle Woods, actually. So I misspoke when I called it a, a forest just now. What happens if we go into, like, top ways? We still end up on the bottom what I should expect. That next room, that next room, right, doesn't have a clear top, doesn't it? We don't see the ceiling. We might be able to just, you know, go up to the, to the, to the roof then, with this thing. Or not, or not, you know. Come to think of it, though, what we can do, okay, we can use the cannon, go to Tanline Temple, and, and get that, to that secret passage we couldn't get to before. Yeah. Let's go do that. Let's... Uh, let's... Let's uh, go! Do that. There is another side! There is something on the other side of that pit. Okay! We made it! Holy crap! Oh, just a scuttle bat? Okay. This music is not appropriate uh, cackle bat fighting music, though. There's a boat there in the background. That's a nice touch. We should have just taken that boat. That would have been way easier. We could have just asked Risky to moor on this spot. Instead, we didn't, though. Now, did we? Well. Now all we need to do is get on the other side. How hard can that be? I'll tell you how hard. Pretty hard. Maybe. Now we made it. Hey, go, but The sun is so hot. Can't keep my eyes open. I could... Okay, it's not, you, no. Well... I don't know. I, I, have two, I have plenty of them. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use four of them. 
I'll give him to you, you old buffoon. Thanks! Ha Screw you. We have a full arsenal now. And don't get me wrong, I understand. I really do understand, okay? Do we really- it really is pretty urgent we go take down the pirate master? See if he really has stolen Shantae's magic powers, all that kind of stuff. But we got- we're, but we're gonna get to that part later. First, we need to do the typical endgame thing, and just go around and, uh, finish up- tie up all the loose ends. You know? That's what we gotta go do. You know, honestly, I kind of thought that maybe Barracuda Joe really what was going to be uh, killed off. So I'm a little bit, I mean, I guess pleasantly surprised that he's fine. Not, not because I have a great affection for him or anything, but you know, it's, it's nice enough to uh, know that he's okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a horrible monster because he aids and abets that monster, the Ammo Baron. Or maybe I'm being a little too judgmental. Who can really say for sure? Some of these things are, aren't as black and white as they might seem upon, upon initial inspection. After all, aren't we all supporting a bad guy or two in our lives? Well, this is not very helpful at all. I'm gonna go up here for a little while. Thus. Gonna... Ah! That's, that's assault! This is where United States Shantae would sue this place. This is not the United States, this is Sequin Land. Where everything is done sequentially, I guess. Where people don't even flinch when they're shot. How ah, that's the United States. I mean, usually, you know, here in the States, we... It's terrible, you just walk outside, people begin shooting at you. It's a constant... It's a constant struggle for survival. What's in here? Anything? Oh, I get it! Those doors on the... Those colored blocks on the map show you which doors match up with which spot. So, this is the yellow door. What door do we need to get to? The red door, how about? We don't see where the red door goes from here, right? Right. Actually, hold on. Hold on, wait just a moment here. If I've been... Yeah, I've been up there. I thought maybe that was a little nook that I had missed. So where's the red door? Red door's on the other side of this wall. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the red door then? We're gonna go... Ah, oh, come on! I have to say that I'm, uh, ready to go to this door! <laughs> and, oh... Oh... Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Whatever. Wait, have I been here before? Maybe. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Money! I was just looking at this area and thinking about all the money I could get to go buy more and more upgrades. And I see that I was right. I'm gonna crawl back through here. See? I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, we just didn't go up here first time for some reason. Why didn't we go up here? Like, we clearly- I think I found that area last time, I seem to remember that I did. See? That's the kind of disapproving face I expect to see on Tanline Island. Uh, let's go up here. Let's go, let's go up here, that's what we got up here. Got this door, but there's more stuff beyond this door. So, where's the, uh, warp squid we want to find? Because- or heart squid, there's a heart squid in here somewhere. We've seen glimpses of it. It must be in the room just beneath this one. So what's it, where are we gonna find? Oh, we are at the orange door! We did find the orange door, neat! Oh, I see that this looking at the uh, other side. Must be something neat in this one then, right? Right. There is. The heart squid I've been looking for. Good. Good. None of this makes any kind of sense. What are these archer women? have against Shantae. I would, I mean, you could say that it was that, you know, she's killed some of their tribes, their fellow tribes ladies in the previous games, but they were attacking her in the first one too. Why were they doing it there? They never met her before. They're just being judgmental is what they were being. Oh, it was down this pit. And I, and I just didn't realize that because like I didn't, 
I, like I forgot that, that I thought the pit was just a bottomless pit, but I should have known because it didn't have the skulls coming out of it that, that it wasn't. Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. Well, you know, there's not there's no skulls coming out of this part of the pit, is there? I guess occasionally their uh, aesthetic considerations have gone into determining whether they'll show the little skulls across or not. There we go. Oh, oh! There was a cackle bat this way. Good. I'll take I'll take him out. Yeah, it was not very difficult, even like a little bit. It also appeared we're just one tile or one room over from where we found that sword. For the guy who, to my surprise, is apparently not related to the ammo bear. Well, that covers just about everything I came here for. I suppose we'll be on our way then, won't we? Let's see what we got. Well, of course we're gonna buy potions. The potions are like the must-buy item. Um, what else might we go for? Ah, uh, get another pistol tuna. Yeah. I guess we're never gonna learn any of these moves, are we? Oh sure, let's. No, we, we don't have. An... Okay, fine. We don't need their sophisticated martial arts anyway, do we, guys? Nah. Nah, we don't. Hey guys, anything new to say? No. Okay. Oh! Didn't mean to shoot that fireball at a risky pistol. First, I feel like it goes a little bit beyond, beyond above and beyond just a run of the mill pistol tuna. How many babies? We only have three. Just one more, and I could have gotten another heart. Just one more. Oh, well, let's save. Just that I'm a different person now than I was when I 100%ed the first Shantae. I suppose I have somewhat different priorities now. I think, I mean, I think I can enjoy this game without completing it to quite that extent, you know? In any case, are we really gonna end this? Because... I mean, I guess we have to, don't we? Let's see what the twist is gonna be.